Hey, my name is Anders Gould. I'm a third year medical student at Carl Illinois College of Medicine. I'm also the volunteer and community outreach chair for our SNMA chapter. And today we have our first ever Doctor for a Day event. This is essentially a day to have high school students uh, from the AVID program at Unit 4 School District to come in and basically uh, do a bunch of different activities and kind of put them in the shoes of what it's like to be a doctor for the day. So group two, you guys will stay here. Let's start maybe with group four. Well, yeah, y'all head out first. You go to the stations across the way. And so your ear is composed of like three main components. So the first is the outer ear, the stuff that you can feel. And that's basically to help funnel sound waves into your ear. And then you have the inner ear, which is like the canal part. And that kind of, again, kind of funnels it. But then you also have wax in there too to kind of protect you from infections. And then it ends when you're gonna see like the, the membrane. Um, and then inside of that is your inner ear. And that's like complicated bone stuff and weird cells that make you listen. Um, Hello, I'll be your doctor today. Um, Nice to meet you. I'm gonna pull on your ear. Tiniest bit, let me know if it hurts. Yeah. All right, so you are looking a little inflamed. Yeah, it's a little bit of reddish. So you're gonna have to go to a real doctor. <laughs> kind of see so there's like a bigger hole under right and what you want to go up into is that between the two white things that kind of look like teeth there mm -hmm. you want to go up into that hole instead of the bottom one okay yeah. so these if someone has something called conus where there's something wrong with the, the whole system of nerves you'll see their foot keep what happening even after like you let it go it'll keep happening Regurgitation, and this yeah, is about so. the section. And so, like, you'll see mitral regurgitation and mitral stenosis very commonly in immigrants. You don't want to listen over the bone, right? So, you can go right, you, see, you can kind of feel where it ends here. So, you want to listen like here, and then on the other side, too, so you can compare the left and the right. Yeah, so that's a pulse. You hear that? Okay. Two minutes. Find that airway. Okay. Alright, which hand does that go in for starters? Yep. Yeah, so you're gonna need to put the tube in with this hand, so that needs to stay in that. Alright. So slide it most of the way in, and then you wanna lift up and away. You don't wanna push on the teeth because they'll break off. Sometimes it helps to have someone push there. Do you see the vocal cords? Pull out the stylus. Now advance it and let this out. Alright, you got it in there nice and deep. Now the moment of truth. Lungs or esophagus. Or trachea or esophagus more accurately. Give me a squeeze. Oh yeah, balloon. There you go. <laughs> oh, oh, beautiful. <laughs> All right. Yeah, both too. So today we give our students an opportunity to cross the street and engage with the university and see what it's like a day in the life of a doctor. So why do we do that? And how does this benefit students? For a lot of our students, uh, we, we have wonderful conversations about their pathways and where they want to life. But today, we're going to hear their experience. We're going to have to see what it's like on the other side when they walk into a doctor's office and go in the healthcare profession. And uh, who are the students here today that get the experiences? So we have about 40 average students. They're sophomores. They're students that are mapping their pathways and thinking about what they want to do with their life. And um, they're also students from underrepresented groups. 
and students that may be first year, first generation college students. Yeah. So we're trying to inspire students that have not had an opportunity to, to yeah. be in this space. Here with Maddie. Maddie and Maddie is a Sophomore Essential. Sophomore Essential. So what we got going on today? Um, we're just learning about the anatomy and learning how to do like surgery and just stuff with the body. Okay, that's what's up. So are you, are you, are you, um, what are you getting the most out of this experience? Um, just seeing if I like to do this maybe so I can see if I want to do it like in the future. Something like that. Okay, cool. Are you, are you interested in the medical field at all? With animals, yes, how few. Really? Okay. Animals, yeah. Okay, okay, cool. So you gone you have had an opportunity to visit the stations. Is there anyone that stood out for you? Um, I like the ears and the eye ones. Okay. The mouth, yeah. That's what's up, that's what's up. <laughs> uh, and like is this experience something that you would recommend other students? Yes. Why? Um, because it shows you like different career paths you can go into and it's it's just I really liked the anesthesiologist one because like it showed us like it gave us a visual um, like on the lungs when they were palpitating and stuff and then we got to not perform surgery but we got to put the patient under anesthesia and that one was really fun and then we also got to I don't remember what this one was called but we got to look in the patient's ears and you know look at the inflammation and redness and then we also learned about reflexes and I learned a lot more reflexes. I only knew the one in your knee, but apparently there's one here and then here and then uh, on your Achilles heel. That was fun. Yeah, I really liked that one, but my favorite was probably the anesthesiologist one because that one was very visual and we could see what was happening. Okay. How are you enjoying this one? It's really cool learning different type of things like what nurses and all the uh, people that work here do on a day-to-day -day basis. Like other um, real patients. That's what I'm talking about. You've had an opportunity to visit like different stations and things like that? Yeah, this is I think our, my third station. So of the three that you've gone through so far, which one do you, is there one that really stands out for you? Uh, this one. I think it's really cool. I've never done it before. Okay. And what did you have to do here? We put this tool down their throat to see um, their little spinal cord, like their little cord, vocal cord. Hi, I'm Brittany Ville. I'm a third year med student at Carl Illinois College of Medicine and one of the presidents of the Student National Medical Association or SNMA. Uh, we're very excited to welcome the Central and Centennial AVID programs today. Uh, at our first annual Doctor for a Day experience. We're excited for them to get their hands on what it's like to be a doctor, a med student for the day. Uh, we hope this inspires them to see themselves in their shoes through medical students who you know, look like them and reflect um, what they can and will do in their futures.